Good afternoon, this is David Wendell of Bushcraft on Fire, and we're pleased to be back with you for another video. Uh, one of the things I wanted to do today was to give you an idea of the direction the Bushcraft on Fire is taking and why we're really here. Uh, you know, we've had a lot of different requests, a lot of different things on what purpose is it to put out all these YouTube videos. And my answer to that would be because we're trying to prepare people for situations. So many of you have probably been following the world events. We've got wars all over the place. We have uh, hurricanes. We've got tornadoes. We have earthquakes going galore. Uh, the Japanese problem now with, with their nuclear reactor plants and all different things. So for us, it's very important that we live a prepared lifestyle. And we want to, to pass on those skills to you our viewers and to those that are out there for anybody that wants now we don't get any pay for doing this we do it because we feel that it's part of our ministry something that we want to do to be able to help other people and uh, one of the things that we have planned in the future here is to go into some more detail operations let me read you a letter that I got just the other day this is from a young man named Gavin one of our subscribers said, Dear Mr. David, I'm only 13 and I'm a part of another channel. I normally have way too much time on my hands and I was wondering if you could tell me where to start with this whole outdoor thing. Thanks for your time, Gavin. You know, we get a lot of letters every day, maybe 50 to 100 emails a day, asking us to do different kind of videos, different things, helping people with different techniques and things. And we want to make that available to everybody as long as we can. So one of the directions that we're going to be going in is I'm going to be starting a new series that will be focused on how I began bushcrafting and what I did to get out there and start. And that's based on what I took is called the Kamana course. So we're going to do an entire series on that. Of course, we're going to keep doing through that skill sets. We're going to continue to do a lot of gear reviews. This is another thing. We've been getting a lot of letters from people saying they really don't appreciate that we do gear reviews. Well, let me ask you guys a question. Does everybody out there use gear? Do you carry gear? What we have tried to do with our reviews is to find the best gear that's available for the purpose intended and to be able to uh, show you, the viewer, that there are options out there. Now, I'm not saying that all these options are necessarily good for every one of you, but it gives you some ideas of the direction that people are looking of the gear necessary. We try to stay with the basics, shelter, fire, water, food. So I will be doing some more gear reviews throughout this next upcoming year. Uh, some of the things I'm going to be doing, some really cool, this is from SOL Survival Outdoors and uh, they've got some really great bivy and some different kinds of emergency blankets. I'm going to be doing some reviews on these. Also, I got a really great headlamp, one of my subscribers told me, called the Mammoth. And this is a Mammoth headlamp, and I'm going to do a review on this. As well as a sharpening system from a friend of mine, KME Sharpeners. And this is a really great sharpening system. I'm going to do a review on that. We've got some more tarp videos coming up. And all sorts of different things that we want to bring your way to show you gear. We try to intersperse those or use them in our daily activities as we're doing the videos. Now, um, the other thing I want to talk to you about today is the Minimalist Camp. We're going to be having a Minimalist Camp May 29th, 30th, and 31st. I had to look at the dates there. And this is going to be an incredible camp. If you want to really test your skills, this is going to be the camp to do it because we are going truly minimal. We're going to be taking a tarp, uh, a pound or two of food, a knife and a fire starter and basically that's going to be it, a way to, to boil water. That's going to be about it. We're going to be going out for three days into the wilderness and we're going to have a great time. So if you want to join us on that there will be information tomorrow up on our website about it. And I do want to thank uh, a friend of ours Jack from Great Britain who has redone our entire website. You want to go out there and take a look at the website. It's really great looking. Jack, thank you so much for that. And other than that, I think that's about it for now. Oh, one other thing. A lot of people have mentioned that I look like I'm losing weight. I have lost in the past few months about 40 pounds. I feel that uh, being in shape is very important in bushcrafting. It used to be that we'd walk down a big hill or 
try and get out there in the bush and I'd be <laughs> all out of breath. Well, it's not like that anymore. I've got another 30 pounds to go. I was severely overweight, but uh, we're doing pretty well. Tam and I work out regularly. We have a great time doing it. And uh, I would encourage you all, another video series I may think about putting out if enough interest was in it, was some of the workouts that we're doing and what you can do to get yourself in shape as well. So we thank you for being with us. Uh, we apologize for not having a lot of videos. We have been doing some other things, but we will be getting back to shooting videos now. Hope that you guys are having a great week. Stick with us and we'll have another video.